Hello, so today is Thursday the 12th of June and we've had a pretty big update to Treasure Trails in Old School RuneScape so let's have a look at the update. So we've got the Treasure Trail expansion update. It's a huge week for all treasure hunters out there. There's the Treasure Trails has received a massive boost. There are over 180 new items available to, and to be discovered by solving clues scrolls including third age weaponry, and brand new outfits, a whole host of other items. There are also new rewards and brand new clues for every level of treasure trail. So uh, from the advanced, from the easy ones to the elite ones. For the most advanced treasure hunters, there will be a brand new elite clue scroll. If you're able to solve them, you're going to uncover the rarest rewards. So the elite treasure trails. So elite clues are available as rare drops from selected boss monsters and high level monsters. These clue scrolls present the biggest challenge to all treasure hunters and have the highest requirements for any clue scroll. Exclusive to the elite clue scrolls are new challenges. Uh, skill challenges are inspired by a suggestion from Load07 which will require you to use your skills to solve. If you receive a, uh, a skill challenge head over to Sherlock who is in the um, forest located near Caffeby, who will be able to help you. If you're eager to hunt down some elite clue scrolls, there's a list of uh, the monsters that you should be killing. So Abyssal Demons, the Black Dragons, Callisto, the Cave Kraken, probably the Cave Kraken bo boss as well, uh, Chaos Elements, uh, Dagonoff Prime, Dagonoff Rex, Dagonoff Supreme, Dark Beasts, General Grodor, uh, Giant Mole, Calfight Queen, King Black Dragon, the Kraken, Kriara, Krill, Tursoff, um, Love Dragons, Mithril Dragons, uh, Salarin the Twisted, not too sure who that is, but yeah, he drops them, Skeletal Wyvern, Smoke Devils, Steel Dragons, Thermi, the Thermonucleus Smoke Devil, uh, Venetus, Vetian, and Z Ziliana. So basically, all the really high level and all the really cool bosses in the game will drop it. Probably the higher level they are, or the harder they are to kill, they probably have a slightly better drop rate because things like the giant mole are probably too easier to kill than say Callisto. I'm not too sure, I've not really tried to kill Callisto. Anyway, so the new features. When you complete a clue scroll, the game will now tell you how many of each tier clue scroll you've uh, completed. You can also find this information on the wall at the observatory. Uh, there's a character called Patchy. So Patchy has learned some new skills and he's able to combine some of the rewards that are available uh, into like one item. So who he will be able to make combined Sagacious spectacles with a blue party hat, a big pirate hat with an eye patch, and a top hat and a monocle. And I'm sure they'll probably update this in the future. So you can get basically get the old man party hat and specs. You can get the top hat and the monocle, and you can get a big party pirate hat and an eye patch together. Um, also, the toy box in the player and house has been updated to store all of these new rewards. So we've got the lava dragon mask, the afro, which is kind of like a rainbow covered colored afro, and the uh, katana. They're the three that we can see here. Uh, with the new trade system on the horizon, they've see it, taken the opportunity to rename some of the treasure trail items so you can find them more easily. So you've got the green uh, dehyde body with T, green dehyde body G, green dehyde chaps T, green dehyde chaps G, blue dehyde body T, blue dehyde body G, blue dehyde chaps T, blue dehyde chaps G, blue wizard hat G, and blue wizard robe G. So I think they were just named slightly different before and they're just making it so it's easy to, so you can find it. Also, uh, we know we like to set things on fire, so fire lighters are now tradable, so we can set a uh, set fire to things in range of the colours so that's good oh so we can set fire to things in the range of every colour so we can just so we can just trade fire lighters uh... they also had a clue scroll competition a few weeks ago when they first announced this so everything to do with the clue scroll expansion was driven by players they received hundreds of great entries for the clue scroll uh... competition and they've used as many as they can. If you examine some of the new clue scrolls, and if it's one submitted by a player, then you'll see the name of them. So there's a full list here. Uh, so some of the people that were included, 
Afropunk Ashes Z X uh, Cheap Cheap Nub Chris uh, 1510 Sea Wars Addict Danger Cook uh, Eager Beagle Envies Eel House Host I Lazy Beef I I See It All I Kips Jock U 23 Junk All Day Load 07 Maggie K Menace Man 22 My Savior N 3 M Z No Eggs Obama Fails Pinepki uh, Prince Q Reign of Life Random Wannabe uh, Escape Rune Shagged uh, So PVM a lot Tommy W 70 Probably Tommy World 70 but anyway uh, You're not Grunt UV6 and Zarf Not. So when you examine something that they've suggested, it will come up with their name. It will say a clue as submitted by name. In other news, uh, Mod Ash has been working hard on Clan Wars, and we get to see any progress on that on the Twitch live stream tonight at 5 o'clock British time. Uh, the rewarding rewards polls offers new drops to uh, wilderness bosses and even more cultural rewards. Also, lots of more bank space items, so make sure you go and vote on that. My video link is here and in the description. Uh, also, to discuss the Treasure Trail expansion, um, you can just go into the forums and talk about it. So, this all looks great. I'm really happy that this has come in. I've been waiting a long time for them to bring this in. I mean, the, the one thing I'm a bit unsure about, I know they have introduced a lot of items. But n not many of those were polled. Certain items like um, you can get the suitcase that Yuri from the Treasure Trail eyes, uh, Treasure Trails can have. I don't really want suitcases in the game. Uh, things like Third Age weapons, to me, I don't mind that much, as long as they're not too OP. Because I, I don't know Third Age is always kind of like an expensive item that I don't think it was that good in PvP, but people just used it to just risk a lot and show that they had a lot of money. Also things like they've been discussing afros for a long time. They were in RS3. There was a shop that had like every single colour afro. And then they were discussing about having an afro that we could just right click and choose a colour. And now they're adding a multicoloured rainbow afro, which I'm a bit unsure about. Not really a fan of that. Um what other items? They've they're bringing in uh all the items, like, you know how there's already trimmed rune and adamant, they're doing it from, um, they're doing it from bronze to mithril now, and I'm not really sure, too sure how many people are going to be wanting that, uh, stuff, so, we'll see how that, that pans out, uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I mean, I'm kind of upset about the fact that there's going to be suitcases in the game, which just won't fit for me. But anyway, um, I've been Lewis. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.